Did the old prophets actually meet angels on top of mountains? Or were they highly intelligent beings from a galaxy far, far away? Today, we're taking a look at three well-known sightings of UFOs. Because let's face it, we're not alone, and the evidence is everywhere. In this video, we'll take a look at some alien sightings and encounters in Switzerland. Switzerland is a beautiful place, well loved by tourists. It's known for its chocolates, cheese, and mountains. But did you know that the country is also well known for UFO sightings? If you're curious to know more, let's dive in. First up, we have a Swiss man who claims to have encountered aliens his entire life. He has even photographs as proof. Billy Meyer says he was first contacted at the age of five in 1942. He met a man from the Plagiaran race named Svath. After Svath died in 1953, Meyer began communicating with an extraterrestrial woman. Her name was Asket, and she was not a Plagiaran. All contact ceased in 1964 and only resumed on January 28, 1975. It was then that he met Svath's granddaughter and another Plagiaran man. Since then, there have allegedly been other extraterrestrials contacting him as well. In the late 1970s, Meyer founded a nonprofit organization based on his interactions with Semjes. The organization's headquarters is in Switzerland, but various people have expressed skepticism about his claims. This includes scientists, skeptics, and even many ufologists. They say his photographs are hoaxes. During a 2017 art exhibit about conspiracies, many of Meyer's photographs were shown. Photographer curator Gordon McDonald commented, Just because photographs are real, i.e. real images made with a real camera, doesn't mean they are of what the person says they're of. His ex-wife also alleges that the UFOs were crafted by Meyer. She claims he made them from items like trash can lids and carpet tacks. In many countries, UFO sightings are accompanied by strange lights. Switzerland is no exception. In November 2015, strange lights appeared in Lausanne. One woman known only as Oceane spotted them. Oceane was in her kitchen before dawn making coffee. Suddenly, she realized she couldn't see the neighbor's house through the balcony door. I was perplexed, she says, so I went out to see. Beyond her balcony was a pink cloud. She could see the church further away, but not the house directly in front of her. The cloud rose, shifting toward the church steeple. Then she saw white balls of light. They were spinning like a carousel in the cloud. Skeptical, she took several photos as well as a video showing the pinkish mist and the lights. The flying balls circled in the sky, rose, and contracted again. This strange spectacle lasted for several minutes. Aside from the large flying lights, there were smaller ones. They were like bright dots. Oceane says, they made a soft sound when they hit the shutters, like the flapping of a bird's wings. As they did so, they left behind a whitish liquid that looked a little like milk. When the phenomena ended, Oceane immediately took samples of the white fluid. She wanted to find out what it was. Oceane was afraid she would catch some disease by coming into contact with that fluid. Renowned ufologist Dr. Valley was the man she reached out to for help. He had no doubt her claims about the encounter were sincere. Valley admitted not having any answers and said it could have been a man-made phenomenon. Despite promising to investigate further, no news emerged of the case again. One theory posits that the floating lights were caused by weather conditions, but according to meteorological agencies, no adverse weather was present that morning. Weirder still, there were no other witnesses. Oceane's neighbors saw nothing out of the ordinary. What did Oceane observe on November 18th, 2015 then? Even today, she is convinced that it was something out of the ordinary. Lastly, we have the case of the Donut UFO. In 2021, a Swiss photographer known only by his Twitter handle, Ievix1 Ievix, snapped a strange photo. He called it a Donut UFO. The flying object was composed of several bright blue concentric rings. It looked like a spacecraft and also a breakfast treat. It only remained there for a few seconds before disappearing. What was it? The photographer suspected he had glimpsed SpaceX's Endeavour capsule. The capsule was scheduled to return to Earth that night, 
carrying four astronauts who had just concluded their 200-day stay on the International Space Station. But there's a hole in that theory. When the Endeavour capsule splashed down that night, it landed in the Gulf of Mexico. That's more than 5,000 miles from Zurich. It is almost impossible that anyone in Switzerland saw the craft's re-entry. So if the donut UFO wasn't a SpaceX craft, what was it? The researcher Marco Langbruck believes that it wasn't a flying object at all. He claims it could have been the garbled image of a distant star. I'm pretty certain that the donut UFO on the Swiss images is an out-of-focus image of a bright star, Langbruck said. It quite looks like it. Still, other images that the photographer snapped show a zigzagging trail of light behind the object. This suggests it was indeed moving. According to Jonathan McDowell, an astrophysicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Massachusetts, it's possible that the donut UFO was the upper stage of a rocket. That is, the small topmost section of a rocket used to propel it into orbit. It then falls off, re-entering the atmosphere and burning up. However, there's no precise time frame for the photos. It's difficult to tie the mysterious lights to any known object in the sky that night. Was it a star, rocket, or something else entirely? For now, the donut UFO over Switzerland is keeping its secrets. It is truly an unidentified flying object. Safe to say, Switzerland has no shortage of strange sightings. To this day, many of them remain unexplainable. Experts are divided in their opinions of these encounters. Unfortunately, without sufficient evidence, we may never know the truth. Make sure to comment below on what your thoughts are, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to tune in next week.